This is going to look at using the Arnold viewport right there and also using Arnold render. First, I'm going to go render Arnold and you don't see anything. Well, you see your objects hiding in the shadows. Why? Because when you're using Arnold, you need lots of light. So going under Arnold lights, and this is the quickest way to get a light in the scene. Sky dome light. And you can move around and you can see your objects. Now, as you drag around, you can notice maybe a lag. And if your scene was huge, you'll definitely see a lag. This viewport renderer for Arnold, it's only in that one viewport, luckily. To work a little more efficiently, turn off the Arnold preview and just go with your viewport 2.0. Use Arnold render to open up a panel and this panel could be toggled on and off. With it on right here, as you move around your scene, you won't see any lag here. You might see a lag in your preview, but that's okay as your preview renders up to 100%. If you have to work on your scene, such as readjust something that's very dense like that, you would just turn off your interactive preview render, make your adjustments, whatever it might be, modeling, etc., and then turn it on to do a quick preview. So this is a way that you can work back and forth, getting a live update of what's going on and still have the flexibility of not having your viewport dragged down, flexibility of continued working in your view. Now, if you had the viewport on, you can see the viewport takes precedence over this. Second I hit play, your viewport will switch back to viewport 2.0 instead of Arnold. But well, this is a very brief introduction of using Arnold render view and using the renderer Arnold within a viewport.